today it's very exciting because after I've gone to drop Jasper at school I'm heading over to Evolve to talk to them about a big off-road electric skateboard well the weather outside may be grey but I'm quite excited nonetheless because I'm hoping to get the opportunity to sort of demo them because there's a couple of different options go for the carbon one which is what everyone else has got or there's a bamboo wood one which I think might be quite nice anyway I'm gonna go in see what they got eeny meeny miny mo um that one oh, I've been so naughty oh well <laughs> I'm really looking forward to giving that a go. Yeah. <laughs> I just need this rain to sort itself out. Absolutely. It does appear to be drying up, which is kind of necessary because, as far as I know, no electric boards are actually properly waterproof. Even the ones that say they're waterproof if you take them at their word, you tend to have trouble. These Evolve boards do not say they're waterproof. In fact, they say the exact opposite. Okay. The reason I went with the Bamboo GTX board rather than the Carbon GT board is because it's a little bit cheaper and also it's quite flexible and it's a little bit smaller, which should hopefully make it a bit easier to pop it in, say, the back of my car. Now, the first thing to do with anything like this is gonna be pop it on charge. Wonder what we've got in here. This has got dual motors. It's basically got all the same specs and range and everything as the Carbon GT board. Right, charger. Oh, dearie me, I've just sliced my finger open on the cardboard. Not been having much luck with cardboard recently. Pop a plaster on that in a minute. Now, this should take about four hours to charge hopefully if my maths is right i should just about have enough time to take it out in the garden before the end of the day it's quite um quite a technical little remote control you can even select whether you want kilo kilometers an hour or miles per hour okay it's time for me to go get jasper and that's really annoying because i've only watched one and a half episodes of the new star trek which is super exciting but really a massive problem for me because i mean luckily the not just dumped an entire season on there, otherwise that'd be the whole vlog gone for the next two days. As it is, I still don't know if I'm gonna have time to actually get today's vlog post up. Because uh, we have got guests coming around later, so it's going to, um, it's gonna be tight. Check the board. That's kind of what I expected. It's gonna take a little while. Just need more time in life. Better get cracking or I won't get a parking space. Right, so I found a use of all the extra time I have whilst I'm waiting for school to actually end, because they don't really seem to have a car park. So I'm gonna do my editing. I'm going to show you the thing that I bought earlier. What is it? <laughs> ah, you'll love it. Is it a present for me? Uh, not really. Kind of a present for daddy, I suppose. What do you see? You can tell me what it is when you see it. Wow. What is it? Monster truck skateboard. Fast? Yeah, it does go really fast and Ooh. it will go on grass. Right, you gonna go get changed, Jasper? Fantastic. Finish charging. As is traditional around here, the first place to give this a go is inside before the wheels get dirty. Turn it on. And then I turn this on. Somehow. How do I turn this on? I should have read the instructions first. There we go. What do you think, Jasper? Wow. Can I have a try? <laughs> All right. Go. Wait a minute. Go. Ah, oh, you're going to hit the Tesla. Perfect for cruising around the house. Not light. Also, a few things I'm not quite sure about. Firstly, this trigger is insanely easy to just catch. And secondly, 
these motors right on the back seem quite easy to sort of bash. You know, if you lift it up like that, it's kind of quite, yeah. Right, I think we can now take it out of slow and put it in fast. That's not a good idea. Great fun. Turning circle's pretty good. Yes, I look forward to giving that a proper go. Hopefully tomorrow. Our friends are gonna be here fairly soon, which means it's going to be time for me to be sociable. So I thought this is probably quite a good time to just give you my initial thoughts on the Bamboo GTX from Evolve. It seems very good. There are a couple of design question marks. The biggest one that I have actually, is I wondered this about a lot of these electric skateboard, longboard type things. Why don't they just have a dead man switch on the remote control so that the throttle won't do anything unless you've got your thumb on this other button. Not the last time I went out with Mark on his board, but the time before that, he came off the board because he was trying to fiddle with a GoPro on his wrist and he just knocked the trigger just a little bit. Especially for me, with cameras to mess around with, it's kind of, it's just, it's a little bit of a risky old proposition. It's certainly not a board that's designed for carrying. It is quite weighty, but I suppose with those big wheels, it was always going to be. It feels very comfortable going over the grass, which is fantastic, because that's kind of why I got it. I want to be able to do some boarding in a more off-road environment, because I think there'll be opportunities to have some fun with that. And it's very difficult, well, basically impossible to do that with ordinary skateboard wheels. And even if you've got the big wheels, if you have to push, not only do your feet get dirty, which means the board and the grip tape obviously get a lot more dirty as well, but also there's so much resistance, you can't ever really get going. You can't really enjoy yourself unless you're bombing down a hill, at which point you've got to pick up the board and go back up to the top. I think for off-road boards, electric skateboards are fantastic. I think for on-road, well, pavement, you know, hard surfaces. I probably prefer an ordinary longboard, if I'm being honest. Certainly when it comes to around cities, no question, board up is the king. Also, you know, yesterday I was talking about EV range and that sort of thing. Well, when I drove to the Evolve warehouse in Dartford, the round trip was something like 110 miles. So if I'd had a 30 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf, for example, I would have had to stop and charge on that route. Even though it's really not a particularly long drive. And that's the thing. Time for me to have a last sort of whiz around the house and just make sure everything's tidy and put away and also finish my coffee. So Spack, you can always tell because the snacks mysteriously come out of the cupboard and our guests will be here very shortly. I am super excited because we're having pizza tonight, yes. I just wanted to have a quick chat about having fun. It's an important part of enjoying life, which ultimately I think is what it's all about. If you're not enjoying it, then why bother? Somebody's got to enjoy it, surely. I'll tell you, somebody who absolutely loves life, Jasper, he is a legend for having fun. Bit of good news, turns out Uber are appealing and they can carry on their operations whilst the appeals process is going on. Hi Soph! Hello! And on top of that, I get the strong impression, sort of reading the various news articles, that they are likely to get a license to operate a private hire company. It's just a case of them probably tweaking some of their procedures and saying, yes, yes, we're very naughty. How are your straps? She's got some new Fitbit straps. I haven't seen the quality yet, have you? Look, 
the Charge 2 Fitbit strap. This is the second one that's done this, isn't it, So They kind of ride up and go bobbly and don't work properly yeah, and look really good. Awful, Hopefully the cheap third-party ones from Amazon have it designed out. It'd be oh, ironic, no. wouldn't it? I know. Yeah, they're just parking up, Jazzy. Hello! Hey, Ollie! Hello? I, hi! I, I can't see them, Dad. I can't see them. You're going to like this. Well, you might do. It's unfortunately a bit dark now, I'd say let's head out and have a go. Look. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that electric? Yep. That is electric. Got 3,000 watts worth of power out of those back motors. And it'll do about 18 right. on the off road setup. If you put it in the on road setup, it'll do about 30, which is more than enough. How fast you say it goes? Do about 25 miles an hour in off-road and 26 miles an hour on-road, which is terrifyingly fast when you're standing on a plank of wood. Uh, yeah, rather you than me. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I've got a helmet somewhere. It's probably about as fast as you on, uh, on snowboarding. But at least snowboarding, A, you've got a helmet, and B, you fall in the snow rather than... Yeah. Uh... Watch out! really quickly on Amazon and um, you know on the phone you're like oh yeah that'll do a white one you know whatever Ten in a bloody packet. Oh wow. Frank. That is very cool. <laughs> Isn't it? Full of monster trucks. You have so many monster trucks Jasper. You've got so many toys generally. This is awesome. I love midweek weekends. I'm also going to say goodbye because I strongly suspect this is going to be the end of today's vlog post i hope you've enjoyed it if you have remember to like it share it and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on instagram if you don't already and i'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog bye yeah and i'm uh, determined to be ahead with everything from now on no more of this not starting shooting my videos until the day is already half over no, because I haven't been back on top properly since he's been at school. Yeah, it's me adjusting to everything. He seems to have adjusted really well.